Good morning, folks. Gators Outdoor Adventures and Guide Service. All right. We hadn't charged this boat up in a couple of days. We've been running it all day, every day. Yesterday was horrible. Wind, rain, the whole works. <coughs> now, we testing out these Dakota lithium batteries. We have no doubt that they're going to last again for us today. But we're going to do a little video. We got our Dakota Lithium 60 power box for charging up the batteries for the GoPros and all that stuff. What we're doing, we're going to start off jigging a little bit around these trees. It's time for these crappy to start coming up at the base of these trees. Now I'm using an ATX. It's a black and yellow with a 1 8 jig head. Um, and I ain't fishing about 18 inches deep. Now this water here is a little murky, murky looking from what I'm seeing, but it's all right. We're going to change it up and switch it up a little bit and see if we can uh, make something happen. We're going to hit a couple different jigs and just see if it makes a difference. Got to get that pole there out of the way, though. We're going to be using the pop scrappy jig as well. We, we ain't... Uh, we ain't cutting nobody short today. We we trying to fish, but we are jigging around these trees today. We going we gonna see what 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 the deal is. But I'ma have to. Well, I'm using the ten foot right this minute, but I think I'ma go to the eleven footer, so I don't have to get so close to the base of these trees like I'm wanting wanting to do. They ought to be a crappy right in here. Our first set of trees we stop at and catch a fish that'd be a good sign for sure that'd be a great sign it's something about that thump something about that thump y'all i'm gonna get the 11 footer this is where that 11 footer comes in handy folks <clears throat> and i'm gonna go with a am i i know you know what i'm gonna use the the solid yellow look at one now that they're just boy they can see that they can see that in this water we might end up with orange, or who knows. We're going to end up with some fish, and it's in live well today, though. We're supposed to get some bad winds again today. Rain, the whole works again. So we'll see. We'll, we'll see what that makes of. It's a deep little hole right here now. I figured we'd catch one on these trees. And I'm trying not to run this trolling motor as much as possible. Now, they might want a smaller jig. If you think you are where there might be some fish, you know, change it up. Change it up and try it, it can't hurt you. Cause if you ain't catching no fish, it ain't gonna matter anyway. So, boy, that other wall's in there. Water kind of deep. A lot of activity in here, but that don't mean nothing. I see a lot of, I, I guess it's hair and shad, I guess. Sometimes these fish can get picky, y'all. And I'm talking picky. So. Mm. Boy, you gonna hate me. Oh. Oh. oh, come here, baby. Come here, baby, get in there. Ah, dog of mine. Whew. And it's on camera. Y'all can see that? I'm talking on the phone and catching slabs. Got to mighty nose. Ah. Hey, hey y'all, and also my boy Brian Fagan, um, Fagan's guy service. He trolls, so y'all give him a call. Y'all. Yeah, it's two, two, two thumbs, but Brian Fagan, he trolls. That's all he wants to do is troll, troll, troll. <laughs> Y'all want to learn how to troll? Y'all call two thumbs. God service. We in some still, some calm, real calm water. We're going to see. And what we got here, y'all can't see it. But there's a creek coming like this, and a creek coming like this. And I'm right in the middle of this island. 
is two creeks on each, you know, a creek on each side. So if them fish coming out the creek to spawn, they come up here on this flat and uh, get in these trees. So we should, we should get at least one. We're gonna bounce around in here and we'll try a couple different colors in here just to see what might work. But my prediction is we'll catch at least one. There gotta be at least one hanging out in here. I didn't wanna have to use the trolling motor because I wanna fish all this. So I don't know that that would be spooky, but I don't wanna take the chance if they are spooky and spook them. But if we catch one in here, I'm pretty sure I can catch two or three. Wind rider bibs and wind rider shirts got the mask on it and the hoodie. They got all different types. <clears throat> but this is the one I like. I'm getting in. <clears throat> the water's gonna shallow up right in here. We're getting into some pads. Some crappy might be in these pads along these in the trees. <clears throat> I'm gonna be shocked if we don't catch a couple out of here. We, we, uh, it's just some good stuff right here. Some good, pretty, got a little bit of dingy look to it. Yeah, I'm gonna be shocked. <clears throat> Unless they just don't like this color. But they really ought to be some fish on these trees. I ain't believing this. Mm-hmm. 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 Not gonna see everybody doing it. Unless they see you catching fish. If they see you catching fish, they'll do it. You got to have the right gear. If you don't have the right gear, you're wasting your time. Try your luck. Better to try than not. And like this little patch of trees. You see somebody in here jigging trees or fishing? Give it to them. Let them have it till you're done. Till they're done. Just, you know, come back by and check it and see if they uh, left yet. <clears throat> 160,000 acre lake. There's no reason you should have to get on top of somebody. I mean, seriously. Them fish are more than one place. But if that's the way you like to do it, then have at it.
at least get an invite. Be nice about it. But hey man, I'm gonna ease up in here and fish with you. There's another one right there. Oh, shucks now. Well, that being in between two creeks. Oh, man. Y'all just don't do that. Don't jerk up. Push it to the side when you're fishing up one of these limbs like this. He was supposed to hang on to it. Baby, baby, baby. I love it when they get hooked like that. <clears throat> they get hooked like that, you know you they hungry. You know they hungry. But they aggravating to get out then. But boy, they show sure fun to catch. Mm, 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 mm. That ATX orange crush. That's a big girl, isn't it? That's a big girl. That's a good one, folks. That's a good one. What we gonna do? <coughs> What I do is when I run them pliers down in there to get a hook out of its mouth, I just start slam over. I'll redo, I'll cut everything and start over. Cause if you lose a trophy fish because of a little two minute gig, it gonna make, it gonna hurt your fit. So I don't take no chances. I just get me another jig, it ain't that hard. Tie me another jig on and roll with it. Cause if you got time. Some might say you're burning daylight. No, you ain't burning daylight. You being smart about the situation. That's so all you do, just just that quick. You got another one tied on, and now you don't have to worry about the hook breaking, bending, popping, or nothing. But I'm scared of it when I run them pliers down in that fish's mouth. I've done it many times. And now we're gonna go back with the ATX orange crust that seems to be working. So, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. They want these little two inch baits. For some reason, they ain't hitting them big baits. I don't like the way that there went on. Let's try that. That there might work.
Yes, that joker made me think I had another bass. That was a good one. And the GoPro dies. <laughs> I smelled them and I found them. And he wasn't playing with it. As the battery was done. We go and cut this a shell cracker. And I mean a grown one. Mm, mm, the ATX lure. <laughs> Come on.
Yeah. 